Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, today's video is going to be focusing on climate change, which is something that affects every single one of us, but doesn't even receive half the attention that our social media accounts do. On Friday, there was a youth strike for climate justice, uh, where hundreds of students didn't go to school and went on strike to pressurise the government and to raise awareness. So before I say anything else, I want you all to watch what those students have to say. Four centimetres, Four centimetres from being underwater, being underwater completely. They're still, They're still carrying, carrying on with climate, climate change for the profit. We can't, we can't vote, vote, so what else are we anything for climate change at the moment. They may have declared a climate tri crisis, but what's changed? Nothing. That's why we're striking today and we're trying to raise awareness as much as it annoys people. Because we can't vote, so what else are we supposed to do? The government could be funding research and defining alternatives to fossil fuels, but they're not because they feel like we should just dig everything up. And by the time, you know, everything's been dug up, we'll have an alternative, but that's not promised. And we only have about 12 years left. I mean, there's a city that is literally four centimetres from being underwater completely. And it's just a nightmare and no one is doing anything. And the government has the power to do something. They're just ignoring it and they really should be doing something. Twelve years left until there's irreversible damage done to the planet from climate change. And you know, I've got a copy of Socialist Worker here because I think that this is a political issue, you know. It's our future, our planet, it's all of our planet, but it's not all of our fault. We've got a refugee crisis already, there's people coming over here because of war, and now there's also going to be thousands of climate refugees. The Maldives is sinking, the Comoros is sinking, Madagascar is sinking. There's going to be thousands of people who are made homeless because of climate change. You know, you look at like what happened in Mozambique a few months ago where 100,000 people lost their homes because of like a cyclone. And you know, we need to help these people, they're going to be made homeless, they're going to become refugees, and I think we need to stand up and say, letting every refugee stand up to racism, refugees are welcome here and we need to stop climate change. It's the ruling class and the 1% and the people who keep drilling into the planet for oil and coal and money, they're the people who are responsible. Not enough for making change. All the big leaders of corporate companies, they're still carrying on with climate change for their profit. Most of our youth need to march in order to make a significant impact to both the government and the global companies and the public in order for them to have some impact to their daily lives. The adults aren't making a difference and so it's, it, we've taken it upon ourselves to actually try and sort out our future and it's, and it's all the children who are having to rise up and make a difference. I think we need to speak out and protest against climate change as it's increased, uh, greenhouse emissions increased over so many years. We need to fight back and stop this. We've increased our plastic consumption, our oil and coal has damaged our environment and will continue to damage our environment. It's not too late now, but if we continue like this, by 2050 we would need three planets to support our needs of oil and gas. decided to walk towards Parliament Square from where we came from. There's a few students who are refusing to get up. So we're sitting here today and not standing up just because no one's taking it seriously and we need to show that it's our future and no one else's. And the police officers here are not taking into consideration our future at all.
MCs commit crimes unforgivable In 50 years time, will our world be livable? Most natural disasters are natural at all Every slave has a master, there's an actual cause The ice caps are melting so fast and they're coming for ya How long before Bangladesh is underwater? I talk of white farmers and what Mugabe did to them But what about the plight of the Somali fishermen? How they dumped waste in their water and took their livelihoods Turn off the TV, read a flipping library book when the selfish gain wealth from blood It's like the world had submitted to Beelzebub We won't help ourselves, no one's helping us It's only a matter of time before we self-destruct Race makes atomic bombs Sometimes I look to the sky and wonder where God is gone Is he just waiting for a man-made judgment day? Don't worry mate, just watch TV and stuff your face There must be another way, I'm unafraid to speak up What you think caused the tsunamis and Hurricane Katrina In the grand scheme of things, what good is a verse? We weren't meant to abuse what God put in the earth Now you wonder why I'm not a fun guy When it hits our kids, the only thing that survives will be the fun guy when the selfish gain wealth from blood It's like the world is submitted to BLs above We won't help ourselves and no one's helping us It's only a matter of time before we self-destruct